CRV is a compact crossover SUV that was first manufactured during 1995 and introduced to the North American market during the year 1997. Since its inception, the CRV has been redesigned and received many changes leading to the current CRV, the most powerful yet economical, comfortable, and agile CRV so far. Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Thanks to Holmes Honda here in Shreveport, Louisiana, I've got this Aegean Blue 2020 Honda CRV. This is the touring version, and there are multiple trim levels, of course, that are available, as you can see on your screen right now. This is the very first year that Aegean Blue is available on the CRV. It's not a new color to Honda, but it is a new color to the CRV, among several other changes. Let's talk about exactly what those are. There are some significant changes for the 2020 model year. All trim levels come with Honda Sensing across the board, no matter what you get, whether it's the LX, all the way up to the Touring version. But the real big change for the CRV for 2020 is found right here under the hood. Allow me to introduce you to the CRV's new turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder. This is the only engine now available for the CRV, but it's the perfect combination of horsepower and an engine that will not overload your gas bill at the gas pump. It makes 190 horsepower at 6,500 RPMs and 179 foot-pounds of torque. It's made it to a continuous variable transmission and gets 28 miles per gallon of gas in the city and 34 out on the highway. So let's talk about interior space and cargo space. The 2020 CRV is not lacking in either area. You and your passengers are going to be comfortable whether you're in the front seat or in the rear. Yes, the rear actually does have a nice amount of leg room as you can see. Now you will find a reasonable amount of cargo space in the rear of the CRV when you open the lift gate, which there happens to be not one, not two, not three, but four different ways to do that. You can use the remote, you can use the button just to the left-hand side of the steering wheel in the CRV interior. There's also a button located right here above the license plate. And then there is my favorite. Just wave your foot underneath the rear bumper and the lift gate is going to automatically open. That way, when you have a handful of groceries or whatever your hands are full of, you're not going to have any trouble opening and or closing the rear lift gate by simply waving your foot under the rear bumper. If you want to increase your already plentiful storage space for cargo in the CRV, there are handles on each side of the interior back here for the cargo area to lower the rear seats and increase your cargo space that much more. Okay, I said there was a reasonable amount of space in the back seat for your rear passengers. That's not all there is. You also have an armrest with two cup holders right here and two dual air conditioning vents as well as dual USB ports as well for whatever devices your rear seat passengers wish to power. I mentioned that Honda Sensing is now available across the board on all CRV trim levels in 2020. So what exactly does that include? Well, it includes collision mitigation braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. One of the tremendous changes that Honda has made for the 2020 model year for the CRV is right here under my right arm that would be the console. Of course, you can adjust the top back and forth so that when you're driving, you can keep your 
arm resting on the console if you wish to. And there is a tremendous amount of space found here. That is an increase from previous model years. And of course you have cup holders, you have wireless charging right here. You do have the infotainment screen, air conditioning and the shifter, everything here in the middle that you are used to likely seeing if this is something you are used to driving. So now that we're out on the road with the CRV, let's talk a little bit about something that I consider to be one of the greatest characteristics of the 2020 Honda CRV, and that is the way that it rides and handles. Most SUVs that compete with the CRV have a rather harsh ride. It's pretty stiff, it's pretty, well, uncomfortable, we'll say. The CRV is definitely one of the smoothest riding SUVs I've ever been in. And definitely a dramatic improvement over CRVs of years gone by. But that's not the only thing. And don't let the shakiness of the camera fool you. That's just because the stabilization on that particular tripod that I'm using right now is not that great. So it's gonna pick up some vibration and some bumps and all that then make it seem like the ride is a little bit more harsh than it really is. So not only is the ride great, but the acceleration is good too. 190 horsepower is not a lot of power, but it seems to be the perfect combination of horsepower and torque with the 190 horsepower and 190 foot-pounds of torque for the CRV. And I'm impressed with the fact that yes, it gets 28 miles per gallon in the city and 34 out on the highway, but being a performance enthusiast, I must admit one of my absolute favorite features of the CRV is the way it handles. And that brings to a close my time with the 2020 Honda CRV. I would like to say a thank you to Holmes Honda for loaning me this brand new CRV for the day and allowing me to actually put the first few miles on it after it arrived at the dealership. Thank all of you for taking the time to watch today's video. Please be sure to share this video on your timelines on social media and subscribe to Vehicle Visionary if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time.